Okay. Hello. Hello, Hi. how are you? How are you guys doing? Um, speaking from San Francisco here at the Hamilton Center in Fillmore. My name is Kina and I'm looking forward to our festivities here for African History Month today. And this will be your first time participating? Yes, sir. My first time. I'm, I just came from Oakland, so across the bridge to get here. Great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. So where are you originally from? I'm originally from Oakland. Uh-huh. Okay. East well, good. So what are you going to be doing today? So today I brought some henna supplies and going to just speak really briefly about how um, henna is traditionally known to be originating from India, but a lot of uh, different cultures practice it, including North and uh, West Africa. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So just, you know, bringing back our beauty and our culture and adornment, all of our sort of traditional practices. So Hannah is different in, from the uh, ordinary regular products that you buy on the shelf because... Well, Hannah is a, it comes from a plant, a specific kind of plant, then it dried after it's harvested, and then you kind of crush it and make it into a dust form. You add some essential oils to it. Um, like lavender, eucalyptus, um, it's different choices. Uh, a little bit of sugar, and then lemon to help the stain stain your skin once you're done. Mm -hmm. And there's different different kinds. Some are a little bit more red, some are a little bit more brown. Yeah, I've dealt with it before. I used to be a hairdresser a long time ago. Okay. Uh, it was kind of uh, difficult, but you got the job done for mm -hmm. sure. You can use it not only uh, for for body adornment, but also to dye your hair. So there's lots of different uses for it. People use it also for makeup, uh, dye your lips, right? For lips colors, lipstick. So how do people get in touch with you? Um, well, I have a business card. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Twitter, all the social media networks. So for what the Facebook, what would I look for? Uh, Kina Romano. Kina Romano. Mm -hmm. okay. And here, I can give you a close-up on my... Let's see if you can get that on here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in focus right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kina. Thank you. <laughs>
As a multi-talented artist, she is well versed in composing, singing, modeling, poetry, such as spoken word, journalism, print and radio, and much more. Akila is a graduate of Napa Valley College and UC Berkeley. For 10 years, she served as an entertainment chair for the annual also known as the EWOCC. Akilah's work has been published in numerous magazines, newspapers, KPFA, 94.1 FM Radio, First Voice Media Apprenticeship Program and Full Circle Show, National Radio Project, Making Contact Storytelling Fellowship, Sisters of Ink Voices, Anon Anthology, Reflection, a collaboration between so that was part. All the way to Sunday from 3 to 4 on KPFB A9.3 FM Radio. So two days from that. She is a co-host and co-founder for Urban Games, an open mic showcase in the Eastern San Pablo, California. She is currently creating children's books focused on issues in relation to social justice and community. And she has been a post model for the last four years. Has experience in print modeling and on one day shows. And she currently holds the title as Miss Oakland Plus America for 2014. You give it up for Miss and Lewis.
Thank you. 